Mr. Montgomery, one more round, please. We have a small group of players today. Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got another review for you and this time we're testing our knowledge of movies, music, sea animals and everything else in between with Papa's Quiz, a quirky little new quizzer. But is it any good? Let's find out. Papa's Quiz is a weird little game. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it. It's a quiz game where up to eight players can answer questions from various topics using a smartphone or a tablet. You go to the game's website, enter the code, and you connect to the game. A little like the other party game that released this month, What the Dub. Questions are then thrown onto the screen, and the quickest correct answer gets the most points, the second gets the second most points, and so on. The game comes to a conclusion with the fifth round being the big event finale, where those who are behind can pull it back by being the quickest. All the while, each player's character is moving slowly towards the bottomless pit of loserdom. It's really simple stuff, and as far as quiz games go, it does the bare minimum and then a little more. Choosing which category you'll play between rounds is done by jostling with other players to move the single on-screen cursor over the desired category. I actually like this, even though I only played the game against my partner. I would ask her which category she wanted to do, and then I would fight to make sure we didn't select that category. I like being annoying, and the game gave me a legitimate outlook for my annoying tendencies, so credit where it's due. The weirdness comes from the in-game announcers. One is a robot with a robot sounding text-to-speech voice, while the other is a weird man with what sounds like an Indian accent, and he runs the show. It's a weird pairing, but the two characters give a bit of life to the game. And speaking of life, you can inject a bit of life by dancing when you win a round. The game has various dances that you can make your avatar do if you win a round. Again, it's silly, it's stupid, but ultimately it's harmless. And there is the option to skip the dancing if you want to show a bit of decorum. And that's all there is to it. It's an average quiz game dressed up as a weird quiz game. It works though, and if you can get a few people together, I can see it being a fun party game for a while. Does it have staying power? No, not really. And there are better party games out there. And unfortunately for Papa's Quiz, it's releasing in the middle of a pandemic, which means a lot of people won't be able to get the best out of it, at least not yet. And that's the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful in some way, even if you only use these videos to bore you to sleep. If you did enjoy this one, then do us a favour and leave a like and a comment down below. And maybe subscribe if you want more. Give the bell icon a tickle so that you're the first to know when we've got new stuff. Down in the info box, you'll find our website links, social media channels and our supporters page, where you can support the team if you can. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.